Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 5 different learning activities that you can do at home with your toddler or preschooler. I wanted to utilize the toys that we already have at home and use them as learning activities. For this first one, I'm going to use these colorful building blocks. The first thing that I did was to make figures or patterns with the blocks. And then I drew them on these index cards. The idea is to give your child the drawn pattern and have them recreate it or build it using the blocks. It's a great way to help your kids develop their eye for detail, their problem-solving skills, and most especially, the perseverance to finish a task. You can make the pattern as simple or as complex depending on the age or level of your child. My son Owen is now 4 but we haven't really focused on teaching him about counting yet. He can recite his numbers already but he doesn't really understand quantity yet. So to help him do that, we're starting with one-to-one -one correspondence first. We're just using an ice tray for this one which I bought at Daiso, a clothespin and also these colorful felt pom-poms. The activity is fairly simple because all your child needs to do is to put one pom-pom using the clothespin into each of the space on the tray. Using the clothespin is a great way to help develop your child's pincher grasp, which is great for pre-writing. You can also use beads or other counters of your choice for this activity. My son loves cars and we have a lot of them. So for this activity, I'm going to use his toy cars to teach him about counting. This is very simple to do and it requires less effort to prepare because you just need the toy cars and some UNO cards. If you don't have UNO cards, you can just use flashcards or DIY by writing the numbers on pieces of paper or cardstock. Once you've laid the cards or the parking lot like so, the task of the child is to park the corresponding amount of cars into each of these slots. This is a great way to teach your child about number recognition and also quantity. The next learning activity is appropriate for preschoolers who are a bit older. All you need are pieces of paper, a pen, and kid-friendly scissors. Here, I'm just drawing several line patterns on the paper. You can start with straight lines and then slanted lines or you can also do squiggly lines. This is a great way to teach your child how to use the scissors. It helps develop their hand, their fine motor skills as well. Just make sure you supervise this activity and you also give safety instructions to your child when it comes to using scissors. Our son is starting to impose his independence, most especially when it comes to dressing up. He has been insisting he does it on his own, most especially when he would need to wear something with buttons. So to help him practice, I made this simple buttoning activity for him from rectangular pieces of felt cloth and also buttons in various sizes. All you need to do is to sew a button in each of the felt pieces. Then simply snip a buttonhole on the other side of the felt cloth. Aside from learning how to button up, this activity also helps develop your child's fine motor skills which can also be a great preparation for writing.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you soon!